He is a 15th century king of England whose remains were found under a parking lot. Now ceremonies are being held to honor King Richard III more than 500 years after he was killed in battle. Mark Phillips is at Leicester Cathedral in England where the king will be reburied later this week. Mark, good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Well, it's not exactly like history coming alive, but it is like being revisited by it in the form of the bones of King Richard III, which are now lying here in Leicester's Cathedral, 530 years after he was killed in battle outside of town. It's a pretty amazing story how those bones got here. Royal protocol may be a well-established industry in Britain, but there's never been anything like this. They've had to make up the rules as they go along for how you treat a king who's been vilified by history and who had gone missing since the year 1485. Richard III's bones are lying, not in state, but in a simple coffin. He'll be here until Thursday for whoever wants to come by to pay respects. It was only three years ago that his remains were discovered, lying unceremoniously in a long-lost grave that had been covered by a parking lot. He's got 12,000 men. Mm -hmm. He had been killed in the Battle of Bosworth Field, where John Whitehead gives tours. He makes what? a charge. The last charge of the King of England. Is that right? The last yeah. charge, last of, a charge of a King of England. At the head of, the head of his, his troops. troops. Shakespeare says when Richard was knocked off his mount, he offered his kingdom for a horse. But the battle wounds to his skull show what happened when he didn't get one. Richard finally got his horse five centuries later, as his coffin was taken in a procession through town. History, written by the Tudor dynasty that deposed him, depicted Richard as a power-mad psychopath and child murderer. But here, he's become something of a local hero. And now they hope Richard will become a cash cow. Thank you. Is Richard now 530 years after the fact, good for business. <laughs> In a village like this, it's nice to, to collect funds for the church, for the restoration, so yes, that, that's good. Um, and it will transform Leicester. Leicester Cathedral and Leicester Museum, uh, there will be a tourist boom, yes. Where history once happened and where a king will now be buried, the good burghers of Leicester are hoping the tourists will follow. And judging from the crowd scale, they could be right. I always wait to hear, what is Mark going to say his last line? Mark, I love everything you do. Good to see you, Mark Phillips. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. <laughs> you're he's still, he's you're still welcome, shy Mark. about your praise for <laughs> yes, him. He's, he's like, let me alone. <laughs>